Hi Scorpio, welcome to your 8-8 portal reading. Thank you to everybody who responded that you wanted an individual reading. This is going to take the place of the weekly reading just because I have to work Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday, 12 hours. Um, and plus I have my personal readings that I need to get to. So this will take the place of the weekly reading, but that's okay because um, the 80 portal energy is till the end of Leo season, which is like the third week in August. Let's see this way. Okay. All right. Bottom of the deck, messenger of coins. Moving in, going slow and steady towards whatever you desire. Whatever you're manifesting this time, 80 portal, if you don't know, is a time for manifesting. Um, with it being in Leo energy, in Leo season, it's very powerful. You've got the courage to put your thoughts, what you want, your desires, your goals into motion. Take eight minutes a day, Scorpio. Um, as many you know days consistently to the end of the 8 8 portal um, energy. Meditate. I mean, if you could do it forever, that would be great. But meditate for eight minutes. Whether it's on your way to work, whether you're laying in bed, doing the prompts, two, three minutes right before bed, journal what you want during this 8 8 portal what you see for yourself in the future what changes you want to come about what new beginnings you want to happen because i feel like you've been slowly putting work into things and you're creating a solid foundation for yourself you know always take what resonates and then always watch, watch your other signs for additional clarity but you have visions you want things it's now it's the time now to manifest and have that vision and make it happen. Whether it be career, love, stability, finances, purchasing a home, purchasing a summer home, being able to take a vacation, manifest it. Your old vision, the Ten of Swords, the final chapter, closing out. What's not meant for you, Scorpio, this is the time. Close it out. Block it. If you got lingering relationships that you know aren't going anywhere and somehow they keep coming through and texting you, and, and but you know it's not for you, stop putting the energy into it. Close it out. If there is friends or family members that have done you wrong and you keep forgiving them and they keep hurting you, close it out. Leave the past in the past and move forward. What you're going to keep are those relationships, those people around you that you consider home, that you can trust with your innermost secrets that will come to the side of the road and fix your flat in a second when you call them. Doesn't matter day or night when you call and meet someone, they are the people that you're going to nurture. They are the relationships that you are going to keep. 10 10, definitely endings. And what you're going to release, any worry, anything that you just don't understand has happened in your life, leave it up to Spirit. Say, Spirit, I can't take it anymore. Help me grow, help me heal. Help me learn that lesson. For anything that you just feel confused about, leave it up to spirit. Have faith that they're always going to be beside you. The new vision is that you have the dedication in you to make anything work. If you're really good at something, if there's a craft that you're really good at, plumbing, fixing cars, writing poetry, DIYing, do it. Put the work into it. It might, it might even, you know, expand into something that you love doing that benefits others.
that will bring finances to you in the long run. You've got that dedication in you to make anything work, anything that you desire, anything that you have as a goal. You are going to achieve it during this 8 day portal and the year ahead. And what you feel, you've got your emotions on point. You've got, you just, you're very loving during this time. Like I said, you're nurturing relationships that are truly home to you. You're nurturing yourself. You're loving yourself during this time. It's like you being a water sign, you've got, you can feel emotions of other people a lot stronger than some, a lot stronger than most. Because of that, you got to love yourself also. You've got to give yourself time to just be in the flow of you. Not always taking on other people's emotions and, I mean, you can't help it. But love yourself too during this time. And what you want is to be loved. To love yourself and to be loved. What is meant for you during this 8-8 portal? There is love surrounding you. For those of you that are single, there is love coming towards you. For those of you that might have just begun dating or you know, are, are married or are living with someone, higher level of commitment, it's going to intensify during this time. 8 portal is like lightning. It's like jolt. It's energy. It's intensify the feelings that are, 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 are already there. So if you're living with someone, it might be even more intensified, more cuddling, more nurturing. Same as if you're married, you know, when you both might feel, feel tired because of your children, you got them everywhere they needed to be, or you both are working towards a solid foundation. When you get home, you're so tired. There is going to be nurturing and cuddling during this time. Even if you make the effort to provide it, it's going to be reciprocated. And what you're doing, you're moving to better times ahead. You're creating that happiness, that peaceful energy around you, around your family, your friends, your home. If this is a time that you want to travel, if you've been thinking about traveling and you've been putting it off because of COVID, because of money, because of monkeypox, to travel, just travel. Be cautious and travel. If there's somebody at a distance that you've been wanting to reach out towards family, um, family at a distance, a love interest at a distance, your best friend that moved away, travel towards them. And give thanks for the blessings that you don't know about that are coming your way. Give thanks for the people that didn't have your best interest at heart. Because they got you to where you are right now. Even if it was feeling distraught and it led you to YouTube readings, it got you to hear this message. Be grateful for the unknown. Embrace it because there are blessings coming your way. You just got to move towards a more peaceful time and spirit will provide. All right. Look, money, finances, saving. This just fell out of there all on its own. For those of you that are manifesting, saving, being able to save, having, um, you know, having that opportunity to make more. This could be the time where spirit's saying you're good at something. Put it into motion. Start your own business online. Start making things and, I don't know, maybe going to flea markets and selling it. It's going to evolve in something where other people are benefited by it. It's going to bring financial stability. If you thought about going back to school, do it. Because you have the dedication. 
within you. You're going to master anything that you put in motion. So I'm telling you, journal it and manifest it during this time. All right, Spirit. Final message for Scorpio during the 888 portal. During the 88 portal. Okay. And there's the moon. There's things coming to light. There's you going with your intuition. Letting go of the fear and the insecurity and trusting. Remember that spirit is going to provide for you. You just got to meet the universe halfway and begin your manifesting. Look at this. It's like nurture the love that's already around you. Nurture during this time the connections that come into your life that you feel impacted by. Nurture those people that are just have your best interest at heart. That don't create, don't that, that do not treat you like an option. This is also making your dreams work. It's a lot of options, Spirit says. There's one thing you've been thinking about putting into motion again, Scorpio. One thing that you've been thinking about putting into motion. Manifest the hell out of it and make it work for yourself. Spirit is behind you during this time. You're, it's going to lead you to independence. It's going to raise your confidence. It's going to raise your self-worth. Because you're succeeding, there's going to be this glow around you. People are going to be so attracted to your glow, wanting to be your friend, seeing how far it's like seeing the glass is half full, seeing you just give off this powerful energy. They're going to be want to be friends with you, want to meet you romantically for those of you that are single. But it's this time where you got to put something in fruition. Whatever it is, you're going to know deep down, guys, what that is. Leave me a message. Let me know what it is. But put it into motion because you've got it. You've got the power to make it happen. Begin your own business if that's what you've been thinking about. Things that have left you feeling stagnant and like, like there, it was already an ending. Leave that here and put something into fruition for yourself. Spirit's got your back. Love and light, guys. Stay safe.